Hi, I'm Daniela, and today we're at Florida Christian School in Miami, Florida, and we're going to be teaching you how to paint a step-by-step -step sunset. This is sponsored by Elevation Church, and we're partnered with Live Like Bella to bring you this presentation. This is my assistant, Lester, and he's going to be following along while we do the step-by-step -step painting. The first step is to paint the ocean, which is the bottom half of this, under this line. You're going to be getting your blue with your paintbrush and just painting the entire half of the bottom blue. You want to make sure you do the strokes in the same direction, which is most likely going to be sideways, because you want it to look more like water. If you do it up and down, it's not going to look too much like water. Okay, that's great. You could, you know, that's a different approach. It's okay if you paint over the tree outline because it's in black, so you'll still be able to see it after you paint over with blue. And don't be afraid to go out of the line. It's okay, we're just gonna peel it off after, so it doesn't really matter. I want a little bit out of the line, just a little bit. A little bit, just a smidgen. And once you're finished, you just wait for the next step. So the next thing we're going to do is add highlights to the water, but you, have, you want to make sure to clean your paintbrushes first so you don't get any blue in the next color that we're going to use. Gently mix the, the paintbrush in the water, you don't want to splash, you know. So you want to grab your light pink, and you're just going to do horizontal little stripes in the water, so like this. You want to have the option. You could use a race car. And or it gives that. you the best <laughs> oh. marks. Actually, that's a good idea. Okay, so you want to do the lines horizontal and just random lines. It could be anywhere on top of each other, opposites. Just so it looks more natural. If you do it in the same directions, it's going to look a little unnatural. So, so now once you have your stripes, you just want to lightly blend it in. Just swipe side to side each line. It doesn't have to be completely blended in because then it'll look more like highlights. So just keep blending in like this, just side to side. And if the paint dries, you can just go in with a little more blue and blend it in a little more. It's super, super highlighted there. It's a big sun. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is paint the sunset. The sunset's gonna be three different colors and we're just gonna try to blend them all in. So the first color you're gonna use is yellow. So you just take a little bit of your yellow and mustard. Oh, see? You, I have to clean my brush. Okay, <laughs> anyways. Now, you never want to leave any paint behind. Right. So you just wanna right. use your fingers. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, just get creative with it. Anyways. You're going to get your yellow and you're going to try to split this up into three sections. So the first section is going to be yellow. So you're just going to try to fill up that section with yellow, probably like this much going down. Try to just fill it up with yellow like you did with the, with the blue. Why is mine turning into green? Because that's what happens when you mix blue and yellow. You get a different color that is not yellow. So now, try when not you to make do that. <laughs> when you make accidents, you want to... Clean it well. Right. Try to keep your strokes horizontal, like we were doing with the water. How are you doing, Lester? I'm fixing up the... Uh, Mistakes. The error right. that I had with the green. Yeah. But it seemed to keep <laughs> happening. Seem to keep making errors. You know, it's okay. As long as you're having fun, who cares about the mistakes? Lester's not done, but I think I'm going to end it there for him because that's a little more than a third of the sky. Oh, if you still have a little bit of paint on your, on your brush left with the yellow, just blend all the way up until the paint dries off because you're going to be blending either way. So yeah, but the thing is that there's a lot of paint on there. That's not really what I said to do, but you know, different approach, different approach. Okay, so once it's like dry, you don't have to really rinse it out again. So just get your orange and do your sections again like you did for the first one.
just do your little orange section and then once you place the orange down then we're going to blend in so don't worry about blending right now it doesn't really matter if it's exactly perfect because sunsets are never perfect they're always unique in their own special way and you know it's unique they're all unique okay so once you're done with this orange section probably as much as you're going to need blend down and dry your brush like you did with the yellow so until your brush dries like this and then you're gonna get a little more yellow and blend up as much as you need. You might have to keep going back and forth with the orange and the yellow to make sure you get it blended evenly, but it should work pretty well. Wanna make sure there's no white spots of the paper. Try to make sure it's all filled in. Lester, why do you have an extra paintbrush in your mouth? Cause I have to hold this one. Right. Because you know I like to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Makes perfect sense. So once you're done blending that, you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to go with pink and blend it into the orange. Get your brush and just dry it off going upwards. And then get your pink and start from the top. And just blend down. This is the last color you're going to use. This pink is so pretty. Actually, it's really good, Lester. I'm having a hard time mixing up the pink with the orange. Hmm. Just try to go back in with the orange, maybe. So, you know, once you get the pink down, just start blending downwards and get more orange and pink as needed. If the color isn't going in like you want it to, like putting an, a pink over an orange, just wait till the pink dries so it doesn't mix with the color. Okay, good advice, Lester. Solid advice. It's an AP art student, right? So how we're talking about how everything is unique, you know, just going back to that, you know, God made every everything unique. He made you unique. He made everybody in his image, but with their own personalities. Everybody's different and he made everybody personally. Just like he makes the sunsets, the beautiful sunsets, like the one we're drawing right now, or the ones you see outside your window. If you're ever like, just wanna get some encouragement, just look out your window, look at God's creation. It's everywhere and it's, it's beautiful, it's so complex and you know, it's just amazing. And just keep blending. You should almost be done by now. Like I said, the rougher it is, the better. Cause then it just looks more original, more unique. Just like that, super rough. Looks great, Lester. <laughs> Just keep doing it like this. Again, remember, don't, don't be afraid to get a little bit out of the lines, you know? Things happen. We go out of the line, you know? It's gonna, we're gonna rip it off and it's gonna be great. Just, just like that. You might wanna step back from it to see how it looks. If you wanna get a better view, once you think it's good, you can stop. Okay, so now we're gonna add the final details before we add the tree, which would be the clouds and a little bit of more highlights in the water. So first we're gonna go with the clouds. For this, you're gonna need to use white, but you have to make sure your paintbrush is completely clean because we've been using a whole bunch of colors and you don't wanna get it mixed up with different colors. So, you know, you wanna test to make sure it's clean, just wipe it on your paper. This is pretty clean. So you just get your white, and this is, this is kind of the fun part. If you're if you're younger, if you just want to, you can honestly use your fingers for this because clouds are pretty cool. So they're going to be like about three or four clouds in the sky. You can put as many as you want. You can be creative with this, but it's really simple. You just start putting little splotches down, just like one line like this. And then you can make them look a little more bubbly like that. They don't have to be completely white because then it looks like it's blending into the sky. So you see how Lester's doing with his fingers? Equally as good as what I'm doing right now. Actually, it might even be more fun. So yeah. Like that's an example. I just finished, just finished that cloud right there. And you just do about three or more or however many you want to do. And then it should be good. So just keep going. Daniela, when you look at your cloud, what do you see? I see like, I see like a baguette, like bread. I clearly see a turtle. I clearly see like a rhinoceros or like a dinosaur. 
there's the the horn and then the hump uh -huh. of the then it's a camel it's definitely an animal it's a camel no no it's definitely some sort of animal don't be afraid to put some clouds through your trees again it doesn't matter if you go over the tree outline because you'll be able to see it at the end If you even want to, you could add a little, a couple little birds in there. If your white gets too muddy, like mine is getting a little, just wash off your brush again and do the same, repeat the same steps. Oh, Lester's already going in with the birds. Get a shot of that. Baby cloud. How cute. You shouldn't do too many birds because then it looks very odd. Right. Of course. Just keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Keep it simple. Kiss. Kiss. Keep it super simple. Remember that. So, I think we're done with the clouds. <laughs> yeah, we're done with the clouds. And now we can move on to the highlights on the water. So you're gonna use white and I know it already looks like we did highlights but we're just gonna define those a little more so for this you just need a little bit of white just a little bit so you just get swipe off your brush so you're gonna do practically the same thing you did with the other highlights but just do them on the inside of those highlights so I did one here add a little line right there another little line right here because I did one here it's gonna be small very small you don't want to put too much white at all Beautiful, Lester. Beautiful. And, you know, just put them right there. Then once you have your lines down, you can go in and blend right after, just like this. Again, you don't want to blend too much. You want it to look natural. And if you blend too much, just go back in with the, the blue, no shame. Just make sure you wash your brush when you go back to use the white. You can always get your water and try to brush it out to blend it in a little more or take some off. You can put a little more blue in there to get rid of some of the highlights that are sticking out too much. Or just blend it in a little more. If you want, this is the step that you would make this line a little straighter because the next thing I'm going to do is the trees and that's the last step. So if you want to make this line a little straighter, come in with your blue and just straighten up the line. If your line is straight and everything is good, you can stop and wait for the next step. The next step is going to be the trees. So that, the trees are going to be all black because it's going to be a silhouette, which is kind of like a shadow. So you're going to get your black. It doesn't really matter if you clean your paintbrush off because black is not going to mix with anything and change the color. So you're going to get your black and you're going to try to follow the lines of the, the lines that are already on the paper, the outline that was already on the paper. So it should I stay within those lines? It doesn't matter what direction you go as long as you fill it in you're not really gonna see because it's again it's all black if you can't see the outline of your palm tree from because of all the blue <laughs> and the ocean just just imagine your palm tree you could do it yourself it doesn't matter just envision a palm tree you're most likely gonna still see the one on the top so you just figure out what matches you can start with the top and go down or you can start with the bottom and go up it doesn't really matter If you did a cloud in the middle of your tree, a little bit of white might get on it, which is fine. Just wait till it dries and just paint over it later. Some palm trees have coconuts on them, so if you want, you could do your little, little coconuts on the palm tree, as many as you want. Mm -hmm. And at the end, we're gonna decorate the palm tree, you know, personalize it. You can even decorate it like a Christmas tree. It's literally how the trees are in Miami. It's literally palm tree Christmas trees. Once you get to the leaves, you can outline the top. And then to get the little palm tree effect, you can fling down and it'll end up looking like little leaves, like that. So just outline the top. This part's fun. And oops, I got a little paint on my hand. And just fling down. Outline, fling down. Looks like little little leaves. If you know how to make leaves that look better than this, uh, go for it. <laughs> but this is a really easy way to 
make it look like a real palm tree. So now, if you're done like Lester is, you can go in adding little decorations like he did with the, the, you know, the airplane and the birds, but you could also add decorations to your trees, like little lights if you want. You could add with the, all the colors that you have. Add some beads, like Christmas trees. So now since you're done, what do you think of your piece? Um, it just really shows me how like amazing God's creation is and how how you could just imagine and see how it is on a sunset and just put it on the paper and it's, it's a good demonstration of God's creation. I think it's also a good demonstration of God's like power and creativity also because look how hard it is to draw like just a simple sunset, but he actually makes the sunsets, which is crazy. And they're so beautiful. If you ever seen a sunset, it's just always so beautiful and crazy. So, you can really see God's power everywhere. I'm just gonna add little lights. Once you're done and you're satisfied with your piece, you just put your paintbrush down and you're done. Thank you for painting with us. We hope you are blessed by this. This is brought to you by the FCS Media and Art Department. Sponsored by Elevation Worship in partnership with Live Like Bella. We hope you had a good time. Bye. Bye.